Hello, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 7th of January for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now, this week starts in magical form for you because Venus, the planet of attraction, moves into your second solar house, joining up with Jupiter, the planet of growth and optimism, which is already there. Now, these two are going to come together, but not this week. What does happen this week is Venus forges a brilliant angle to Mars. Now, of course, Venus and Mars have a reputation, quite rightly, and are characterised as the two planets of love, with Mars the more masculine and Venus the more receptive, the more feminine. Now, Venus moving into this area can definitely arouse the more sensual side of your nature. It's possible, and of course you have got a reputation as being the Zodiac's a kingpin when it comes to romance, it's possible that you could get to know someone through an incredibly practical situation over the next few weeks, from the middle of this week through to the 24th, and you might be really surprised about how this happens. But equally, what can happen for you almost straight away is that there can be an improvement in your financial situation. The till can ring with ka -ching, in a way that you're expecting, you may be waiting for some money, or it can just be your luck seems to change in a more positive way. So if you are job hunting, you're trying to make better use of your resources, that's the sixth house where Mars is, can definitely be comp complemented by the more alluring, attracting energies of Venus. So it is a case of win-win. Now, when Venus moves into the second solar house and it triggers some kind of improvement, the temptation is to go and splash out almost immediately and spend our gains. So that's something you may want to bear in mind. But this week is also seeing some mega influences. Um, we've seen one involves your traditional ruler of Mars, the other involves Pluto, your modern ruler. Now, that's joined this week in a conjunction by the Sun. But also, in the same location, Saturn is joined by Mercury. I do feel that this is a week when, if you do have any conversations with people, or even you're thinking an, in, at an internal level about your daily world, can take on a really quite serious vibe. Now, of course, you can be very passionate, especially if you're engaged in a situation that you come out from the more uh, reserved side of your nature. But you could find yourself having a debate this week. You could be thinking about buying some kind of new mode of transport. You could be thinking about some kind of training scheme, attending adult evening classes. You could be thinking about technology. You could be thinking about the belief systems that you've had for many, many years. All of these can be up for some kind of radical change. Now, change is something that generally... Uh, you don't readily uh, welcome. And even if you're someone who has had a bit of a history of being a bit more open to new experiences, there's probably part of even those new experiences which see you retaining the things you feel really comfortable with about yourself and your patterns because you're a fixed zodiac sign. So it's possible with Saturn on Mercury, someone could challenge you about some of your views, your ideas, your way of thinking, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be a bad thing. It's about your willingness to be receptive to new ideas. If you are very receptive, the changes you go through can be entirely beneficial and uplifting. But at the same time, you may be more on output mode, where you want to express your enthusiasm for a project, a strand, or an idea you have that you really feel hugely passionate about. So... It can be challenging, the combination between Mercury and Saturn. There could be some transformation in your thinking, your outlook, the way you express yourself. Your relationships with neighbours can go through a period of tension or with siblings. But also there can be good things coming from this as you evolve into the person you really want to be now, not that you were conditioned to be when you were much younger. And this is not a personal process. We all go through this. We all, and I have a lot of Scorpio energy, so these influences will be impacting on me in a big way too. But this can be a week when you attract 
goodness to you. And that is the principal thing to hold. If you would like to order your year 2019 personal horoscope forecast, please see the link below this video. These are based on your time, date and place of birth. But for now, I'd love it if you would like or comment, or if you've yet to do so, please subscribe to this video. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye. Thank you.